morning, you strange and wonderful weirdos. I'm John. And I'm Stacy. It's Friday, October 21st. And here's why. <laughs> Today is strange. Okay, so let's start off by talking about the iconic UFO-shaped house at the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Sadly, a fire has destroyed this house. Oh, no. Yes. Now, this was a Frisco Futuro house, which is a UFO-shaped roadside attraction. It's been on Hatteras Island for nearly 50 years years it's you see pictures of it online looks like a silver ufo it has like a big believe sign out front lots of paraphernalia very popular attraction on um, titan it's known as old colonial <laughs> uh, this past wednesday uh, there was a fire reported and it pretty much left the small prefabricated home completely gutted mm. it's a total loss they have no idea the cause of the fires under investigation um now this home is only one of about 60 that remained. Well, 59 now, I guess. Uh, but they only made like 100. These were made in the 60s. Right. And this one, people love taking pictures of it. Of course, as soon as this came out, social media was flooded with people sharing their memories and things like that. So really a sad loss. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I don't know if they're going to leave the burnt out one there now. <laughs> it could still kind of be Maybe an attraction. Maybe rebuild. Maybe. I mean, it's from the 60s. I don't guess they make them anymore. They, they're they calling it a prefabricated, lightweight, fiberglass, reinforced, polyester, plastic structure. I, th I mean, they could probably remake that, right? I, they could probably laser print that <laughs> before 3 o'clock tomorrow. 3D print it and yeah. stick it on there. <laughs> well, still, it's sad to see it go. Yeah. Sad to see it go. So long, weird UFO house. <laughs> So let's move on. Let's talk about the JFK assassination records that have not been released yet. Hold on a second. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. We're, we good. Good? we're, we're good? good. We're good. We're okay. good. Okay. So Hold on. <laughs> we're good. Okay. Okay, good. So it turns out that a group called the Mary Farrell Foundation has filed a federal lawsuit. Mary Farrell Foundation? Yes. Like, Row. no, no, like Will Farrell, like Farrell, like F E R R E L L. Oh. Not Farrell, like the cat down the street that's having Farrell, kittens like everywhere. Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer. There you go. Perry. Yeah. I mean, no, he the. Because he looks like Will Ferrell. <laughs> it's a long nest. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, yes, the Mary Farrell Foundation is a nonprofit organization. They just bring, uh, try to bring history and make it accessible and interactive, you know, to a new generation. And they have file, filed a federal lawsuit one year after Biden issued a menu postponing the release of the final trove of 16,000 records. Uh, now, this was something that was also postponed before under yes. president trump um for some reason under every president yes for some reason this last batch of records they just are not going to release and this group says that they are breaking the law that the edict said it needed breaking the law breaking the law it the <laughs> the jfk records act that was signed by president clinton required that they be made public by october 26th 2017 and it is yeah, now. I, there's fine print on that, though. Mm -hmm. that, that's null and void if you got a knob job underneath the, uh, <laughs> in the Oval Office. I don't know office. what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to go to a San Francisco federal court. And they're hoping that they're going to just declare Biden's memo void and disclose the records as they were intended to do. They're not going to say anything from President Biden is void in San Francisco. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Right, right. Maybe, I don't know, Alabama, <laughs> but doubtfully California. Now listen, mm -hmm. so 1122, that's the big number, right? It is. It's coming back up. It's coming mm -hmm. right around. That's the big conspiracy of them all, Bay Bay. It's the one that the granddaddy of them all. It's the one that got everybody into it. Well, all the grandpappies. Right. Got all the great grandpappies into it. Conspiracy theory was actually born from this event. Yeah. 
that's where the terminology came from that mm-hmm. the government made up to try to discredit people that believed that the government had something to do with the president's early demise. <laughs> and, you know, too many things don't add up, never added up, will never add up. Uh, it's uh, it's when you actually dive into it and, oh, what a rabbit hole it is. To this very day, it's very exciting to even look into it, to read many of the books that are out from it, to hell, even watch the movies. Hollywood don't even give a crap anymore. They'll just tell you right up, you know. They got a couple of different theories to it. But um, if you haven't done it, there's some nice little fall winter reading there. There you go. Um, get into the JFK conspiracy. Why are the papers not released? Well, they're they're not holding on to them because they don't say anything. Right. Um, I mean, there has to be something <laughs> in there they don't want people to know. After this much time, right, right. I don't see them being, you know, innocent. It's uh, it's kind of like when they dump. We, we yesterday we had the big dump of UFO files. I knew there would be nothing groundbreaking on there. I mean, it could say it was a giant metallic redacted, 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 redacted. Blew our cats redacted off. Redacted, redacted. Bit me redacted. Recovering redacted. Please help. <laughs> and. As entertaining as that may be, and as much as we could fit in there ourselves, they've got a certain air of, you know, the well, the accountability's not really there, is it? I mean, because you've got so much they went through already. You don't expect anything to be in those 1,100 pages. But this JFK thing, they've made it worse. It's like you came home and caught your old lady giggling too much on the phone. You know, <laughs> sitting there making those faces she's never made with you. <laughs> You're like, new app? Huh? You know, turns 40 shades of guilt. And you, 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 you're like, you know, something's gone because she hides it behind her back. And, and, and you, you want that phone. Because you know there's something's on there. If she hadn't hit it, if she hadn't giggled, that would be it'd be okay. But no, no, she had to giggle, didn't she? She, she. I'm that, not sure that's exactly the. They're the giggling. Same. They're all giggling. <laughs> They've got the phone behind their back, Stacy. Just give us the phone. They've got the JFK phone behind their damn back. It's time they show us the phone. <laughs> show us the phone, government. Show us the phone. All right. Okay. Let, let's move on. Yes. Let's move on. Okay. So let's talk about. Now, this isn't particularly strange nudes, but I thought this was worth a look Did because it's strange nudes. News. It's not particularly strange news. Uh, oh. <laughs> it might be strange nudes. You don't know what the story is yet. <laughs> uh, this is the story about the James Webb Space Telescope and the new images of the magnificent pillars of creation. What? The last nudes you sent me, I actually titled (laughs) Magnificent Pillars of Creation. (laughs) Why, thank you. All right. So why don't we look at the ones that are actually in space? Uh, And I just wanted to show these images because they are absolutely amazing. Now, these are pictures. The Hubble Space Telescope, bless its little heart, took pictures of this. Uh, But they aren't quite the same as the James Webb Space you Telescope. Know, can they not quit picking on Hubble? I know. They point that out can every they time. Not quit picking on Hubble. <laughs> Hubble did its damn best. It did. It did what it's it did what it could. So why they put a helmet on Hubble now? <laughs> I don't understand. For years and years and years, Hubble was all we had. That was the best thing ever. It is. It is. I mean, they're not, they're not talking, you know, crap on them and then james webb but started texting james on the phone <laughs> okay don't get back to the phone so the new photograph has was obtained by webb's near infrared camera and it reveals the <laughs> pillar in much greater detail with fine structures of the clouds emerging with clarity and hundreds of previously invisible stars now sparking through the image now a lot of these stars were born just a few hundred thousand years ago and this particular, uh, the pillars of creation are located in the constellation Serpens, which is some 7,000 light years away. They're column-shaped clouds of interstellar dust and gas. And 
they are just gorgeous. I mean, there are like lava flows in there. Yeah, just, what appears to be so lava flows. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It really is. If you've never seen it, I mean, it was gorgeous through Hubble. Mm-hmm. But look at the James Webb pictures. Mm-hmm. They're fantastic. They're spectacular. Spectacular. I was going to say stunning, but yes, yes. they are spectacular. And they're real, too. Yeah, that's what I was... <laughs> I was going a little Terry Hatcher call that. <laughs> All right. Let's move on and talk about Bulba. a discovery. <laughs> Bulba! <What's> that? <laughs> I love that episode. All right. Let's go on and talk about a discovery in Egypt of a falcon shrine with cryptic messages that's been oh. unearthed. Oh. <laughs> so this is an ancient, what they're calling falcon shrine that was located in Ber- Berenike in the old port city in Egypt that has flummoxed. Oh, we've got flummoxed instead of baffled archaeologists who aren't sure what to make of its headless falcons. So what they found is a 1,700-year-old shrine complete with the remains of 15 headless falcons on a pedestal, as well as a stone monument depicting a couple of unknown gods, gods that they have no idea who they are. And there's also a pillar in another room of the shrine that has a strange Greek inscription on it that translates to say, it is improper to boil a head in here. They don't have any idea what this means. I mean, other than you shouldn't boil heads in in this shrine. Did they find a tiny guillotine? They found a spear, which was also strange, uh, like a harpoon spear, 13 inches long. It was found near the pedestal. Uh, I think their working theory is that these are all some sort of religious artifacts given they over to these gods. That. Yeah, I mean, every I guess time they, they find anything, they're they're like, we believe it was something to do with the equinox, some kind of offering or something. Mm. Absolutely. It had to do with planning times <laughs> and now, gods. There were two falcons in there that did have the heads, but there were 15 where it was just the skeletons, but no skull at all. So this was all published in a, the October issue of American Journal of Archaeology. Why did they cut the head off the bleeding falcons? I don't know. Maybe these strange gods that they don't know who they are require their birds to be headless. Do you think it has anything to do with the gods with the, uh, with the bird heads? Mm. Maybe, maybe they're taking the heads. Jealous. Gods taking the heads. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> they're, they're, they they land on the planet and they're like squawk. <laughs> there shall be no other squawks other than I. <laughs> Off with their heads, squawk. <sighs> oh, possibly. I mean, they should add that to their list of working theories. I think. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's move on. Every now and then so, I speak Scottish without meaning to. Apparently. All right, so let's move on to our last story. And this is a story about some reports of some weird noises on airplane intercoms. Now. <laughs> like accidentally or on purpose? I mean, they don't know. Oh, now, these are the reports from some American Airlines flights. And this is something that happened on more than one flight where... As the plane was flying, just randomly over the intercom came some strange, like, moaning and wailing noises. And nobody had any idea where it was coming from. Um, What flight was that? (laughs) There were several different ones. Oh, oh. Yes. And some of the things that happened on these flights is the pilot would call back to the flight attendants to see if someone was trying to get in touch with them. And the flight attendants... Yeah, the flight attendants would stand near all of the phone intercom system to make sure nobody on the plane, on the passengers were trying to use it um they have no idea it was like loud breathing groaning well you know what I, there's a video here there was an actor on one of the flights uh emerson collins he's like an actor on bravo and he was on one of the flights and so he sort of filmed and did some tiktok videos so so just listen to this Very strange, right? Like 
awkward. I think that's really awkward. It really sounds like, I mean, obviously it sounds like somebody's doing a prank or something. They think somebody this maybe hacked in. This is just before in. the hot and bothered stewardess comes out. And, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no no earthly idea what was. <laughs> what that was. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Uh, we are now approaching the pillars of creation. <laughs> Oh, you. <laughs> so uh, the American Airlines came out with a statement. They said they had their maintenance team thoroughly inspect the aircraft and the PA system and determined the sounds were caused by a mechanical issue with a PA amplifier, which raises the volume of the PA system when the engines are running. Clearly, it also fondles the PA system and <laughs> makes it make weird noises. Now, there is a point in one of the videos where when you listen, it does sound like after the noise, there's like a click sound. So I think some people are thinking that it is just a prank. Someone's somehow getting... Click. Yeah, a click. Sorry. <laughs> uh, someone... All I was trying to figure out what plane, that sound would be. Was actually getting to one of the intercoms. Even though they said they were watching all the intercoms, maybe they weren't. But it is strange that they happened on several different flights. Um, I don't know if they've done any cross, like looking at the manifest <sighs> to see if the same person was on all the flights. I don't know what the investigation is entailing, but it is very strange. And it did make the flight really awkward. Everybody was super annoyed. Even the captain was annoyed. I'd be turned on. Would you? Yeah, yeah. I'd have to start making out. <laughs> Because I can't stand stuff like that. It's bad. Yeah. It's just like people are like, oh, I just read the articles. I can't. The articles do more. I can't stand looking just at the at your naked hoiness. I don't need to see that. But the pictures, I, they, they don't work for me. The articles now. The articles. The articles do quite a bit. Because I like, I could see you as my librarian with your little pillars of creation and Roger his zone. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get the bucket of water. Yes. <laughs> it's a great skit. It's a little Monty Python. I uh, really don't know where to go after that. I didn't really leave a good place for you to end it, did I? Uh, you didn't. The good thing is today, well, today is strange because we're at Scarefest. Yes. And we will have live updates. If you want to join us on Paranormal Sideshow, during our Facebook or on our Twitter, which is at Sideshow97, or on Today is Strange Twitter, which is Today is Strange. <laughs> and you need to follow us, by the way. Thanks. Tell a friend. Tell someone. Might take a couple seconds out of your life, pal. Hate to bother you. <laughs> Hope that you like the fact we get up every morning at 4 o'clock to do this for you. But other than that, we really appreciate all your support. Love all you guys. For real. If you're in Lexington, anywhere near Lexington, like horses or like me, come out anyway to Scarefest and see us today. <clears throat> and that's why today is strange.